Hey guys, we're here with Ted Scott at our Oxton Lake store, a beautiful sunny day in June. And Ted's a pretty cool guy. He doesn't use the traditional paper map when going on your route. You might check them out every now and then, but you have some alternative ways, Ted. So why don't you tell the folks how you like to navigate your routes? And I do, programs. and I, I, I do this actually uh, both uh, when I canoe and both, and also when I motorcycle, the same, same pretty much setup. I use a Garmin InReach, which is a GPS device that you do not need cell uh, service. Um, it's, uh, you can send an SOS right away if you need it, uh, but it's got, it, it's got a satellite connection. It also um, go, it links to a phone. To Garmin has several different uh, uh, applications that will work with the InReach. Um, I use Explore. And what I actually do, when I did it on this recent trip, I typically do, I will go on Google Maps uh, using the aerial photography. I will, in my maps, actually set out, draw lines to set out what my route is. I will download a KMZ file, and I can up, that's, which is a GPS file. I can upload that into Garmin Explorer on a computer. It automatically syncs to my phone. And then I have the exact line work of where I want to go. So when canoeing, if you're in a, uh, in a marshy area that there's multiple ways to go, I've already pre-planned ahead so I can bring this up and look exactly where I need to go, um, where I pre-planned it to go. Um, also gives mileage and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great, great tool to be able to plan and know exactly where you are when you're in the wilderness. Um, I always do bring a, uh, a backup hard copy map um, just in case, but this is never, using my phone has never failed me. I do have a recharge device. I'll recharge my phone uh, with a battery backup every night. There's solar options too to be able to, uh, to back it up. Um, yeah, so it works really well for me. So it tr will keep track of the route too, like after the trip, you'll have a detailed look of specifically where on the lake you went and yes, so Yes, it, it will track you. And actually using the Garmin device, it, it, the Garmin device will track you. It'll send tracking points. Anyone at home, can you can share a link with them. They can log in. They can see exactly where you're at. Um, they can know where, where, what your route is, what your progress is. So it's a great safety device also um, for the loved ones. If they have loved ones worried at home, wondering where you're at out there in the wilderness, they can log in to that with, through, through Garmin and see exactly where you're at and rest assured that you're on track of your, of your trip. Now, a few nights ago, I was surprised, folks. I get a message, a text message from Ted from White Trout Lake deep in Algonquin, way out of cell service. Oh yeah. So way. How, did, how did you do that? <laughs> well, I did that. I did that through the, the, the Garmin uh, inReach and using, using this, uh, the, the Garmin app that, that pairs with it. So you can write out on your phone, write out a, you know, a text message. There are some limitations for character. Uh, that's why I wasn't going into a very descriptive situation, but then it will, your phone will link right to the inReach. This goes through satellite and it beeps when it's sent and then it chirps when it uh when you get a message back that's so cool yeah new way folks to go on your trips keep track of where you're going and so on so cheers ted thanks for sharing that with us you're welcome thank cheers. you yep cheers